Big night in Madison. We had 15 area wrestlers going for a spot in the state finals. Not everyone made it through, but let's check out who did. We start with the man himself, Rhett Koenig, seeking his fourth state title, but he'd have to make it through his semifinal first. This one was crazy. It would go to an ultimate tiebreaker. Koenig needed to ride his guy out for 30 seconds, and when it matters most, Rhett shows up, gets the job done. Going for title number four tomorrow night. Love it. Let's jump to 184. Blair Taylor's Jackson Shramick looking to get it into the finals. He trailed much of the match, but late in the third, found his window, catches an opponent off position, takes him right to his back, looking for the pin. He gets it. Wildcats have a state finalist. Back down to 152. Tate Fleggy got the Aquinas train rolling, racking up the back points time and time again. He'd get the win 11 to 2. Next at 160, Calvin Hargrove's turn, tied match late in the third, working the takedown on the edge of the mat. He gets it, Hargrove through to the finals. Big win there. And at the same time, David Moline going to work, gets the headlock here, and that was all she wrote. Gets the pin, that's finalist number three for the blue gold, but we're not done. At 195, it's the freshman, Tyson Martin, on the biggest stage, and he shows up, working the tilts, racking up Ooh. the points. Winning it big, 16 nothing shutout. The freshman onto the finals. One more, 220. One more blue gold? Let's do it. Brady Lanier using the cradle to win his quarterfinal match. Right back to it, didn't get the fall, but that was more than enough. That makes it five finalists for the blue gold. Wow.